Hey, so we're gonna give you a quick 300 update. We've had our 300s for uh, just about two years now. Um, 17 KTM 300 XCs. The 18s have been updated a bit and the 19s are coming out uh, now. They've done some updates to the carburetor and some other little things, but basically the bike is the same. The 19's gonna get uh, new plastic and new frame stuff, but the motor and suspension is basically gonna be the same. Uh, they're not putting fuel injection on these bikes yet, uh, on the XCs. So this bike, we really like this bike. Uh, some things we've done lately is I put the stock tank back on. We were doing some stuff, so I put the stock tank back on, thinking that I would feel the difference in the smaller, lighter tank, and uh, not really. Uh, so we put the big tank back on, the IMS tank back on, because uh, we do a lot of big rides, and being close on fuel is not very fun. So uh, we put the big tank back on. We were just playing with it, and I thought I would try it. We've also changed the piston on one of the bikes at 114 hours. Uh, you can see from the pictures here, it looks really good. And uh, Vertex piston makes the stock piston, so that's really good. So good update there. On the bikes now, we're pretty much running the Kian 38 from Sudco or JD Jetting. You can get that from there with their jet kit in it. That 38, we played with that and we've got that working well on here. And also we've run the um, Electron. And so with either carburetor, we're making better power and it's cleaner, easier jetting. So with either way, I think you're good. Um, with that said, we've been running a 51 rear tooth. I think we're probably gonna go back to the stock 50 because now that we make better power it seems like first is just too low anymore so I think that's something that we're going to test next so again uh, the XC's have been proven just bulletproof um, I can't think of much else uh, going wrong here so uh, we're pretty pleased with the XC 300 uh, 300 XC I should say so we're pretty pleased with it everything that we've done to these these bikes you know we've added the headlight and hand guards um, all that kind of stuff so um, made them pretty, pretty uh, bulletproof for the trail. So really cool uh, bikes and uh, we're looking forward to putting a couple more years on these things. Hey, so a couple things I failed to mention on our 300s because there's, there's a lot of things. We have been playing with the power valve a lot since changing the carburetors and so we've gone in a bunch and so we're kind of in like two or three turns. So we found with the, the better carburetor uh, going with Electron or the Kian, we could be in further on the uh, power valve adjustment. Also on one of the bikes, we have tried a spring conversion from Racetech. Some guys are really bummed on the forks, uh, on having to have air forks. We don't mind it, we don't think it's a big deal, and think it works pretty good. The spring conversion, on the moto side of things, we, uh, so far we didn't like it as much. So, so far we're more of a fan of the air fork, the AER48 on the um, trail bike uh, and on the motorbike and on the trail bike I think it's pretty much the same either way if you're sick of air and you want to do that and invest the money in switching over to a spring conversion like with race tech uh, that would be a good thing for you to do um, I think the performance is good you don't have to check pressures you still have to relieve pressure on both sides but uh, one less thing to do there um, I don't know if it's totally worth all the money as far as the conversion part but just keeping your air fork is you know pretty good for me and for uh, Spencer and I so just some more thoughts on the, a really good bike in the KTM 300 uh, XC.